Whoops, I forgot to read the story to you. So I'm, now I'm going to read the story to you. And sorry if I look down, I have, this, have it in a book. <laughs> so the story is called Just Keep Going. Why don't you take a break, Celia? Chandra shouted about the, uh, above the pounding beat of the dance music. There's a description, by the way. You've been serving punch all night. Aren't you going to dance? No, Cecilia shot back. I mean, I mean, sure, of course I'm going to dance. She ran her thumb up the stack of party napkins. But we've been really busy. People get thirsty dancing. Uh, yeah, and the people who aren't dancing need something to do. Cecilia watched the ice bob in the bowl. Nobody's asked me. Sure, girl, you think this is the 90s? You gotta do the asking. Chandra took the ladle from Celia's hand and uh, nodded across the gym. Jerome's been waiting for you all night. M you better not have told him I like him. Celia's eyes grew wide. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. If you don't ask him, you'll never know. Uh, drawing a deep breath, Celia clenched her fists beside her hips. How could she bear to ask Jerome to dance? She stared out across the crowded basketball court to see him leaning against the folded bleachers. Jerome's hair was shaved short, and he wore a button-down shirt with khaki pants. He was more dressed up than Celia had ever seen him. Well, Chandra said, what's your decision? Celia began to walk. The first step was the hardest. She felt like she was teetering on a tightrope. The music pounded in her chest. Halfway there, she wondered if she could veer off to the restroom, but something inside her said, just keep going. Suddenly, she stood in front of Jerome. He looked up, saw her, and smiled. What's up, Celia? He was wearing cologne. Celia shrugged, and he couldn't think of a, she couldn't think of a single thing to say. How was she going to get out of this one? Taking a deep breath, she blurted, You don't want to dance, do you? Jerome's smile grew broader. Sure. They walked up together across to, out to the free throw line. Then the beat stopped. Celia and Jerome were left standing there facing each other in dead silence. She wanted to sink to the floor. At last, the DJ started a slow song. Jerome murmured, So, I guess Chandra told you I like you? Celia relaxed and smiled. Maybe she did, maybe she didn't. That's the end of the story. <laughs>